Zappi, blitz comes. Zappi escapes. Going to fire a wobbler that is incomplete. One second when it landed. I think there's one second left. UTSA is all over the field right now. And the officials are trying to get them off of it. The previous play is under further video review to see if there's any time left on the clock. Please clear the playing field. Take a look. The clocks are there at the bottom of your screen. Pressure again. Zappy gets hit by his own player. Defensive lineman was engaged with an offensive lineman. That offensive lineman hit Zappy as he was throwing the ball, and that's why it died. But there is clearly one second on the clock when that ball hit the ground. Western Kentucky's going to get another shot at this thing. And I think they already dumped the Gatorade on Jeff Trailer, who has to regroup, put the headset back on. Clearly, the ball was down. After video review, there was one second left on the clock when the ball hit the ground for the incomplete pass. Please put one second on the clock, and the clock will start on the snap. It'll be second down. The first challenge is giving Zappi a clear path to get some momentum to get it to the end zone. This is it, Rich. Zappi, five-man rush. It's a blitz. Zappi's going to throw high towards the end zone, and it is intercepted. UTSA champions for the very first time in Conference USA. It was quite a ride for Bailey Zappi and Western Kentucky. But the Roadrunners, just an incredible race to 11 wins. They lost last week. They weren't really all that spunky this week. It was a tough week for them to get through what happened last week at North Texas. But man, they came out here, built a big lead, and held on to the very end.